Some of the smartest kids in Australia and New Zealand gathered on the Gold Coast today for a brain bee. It was the culmination of three days of rigorous testing and months of tough study. And it was won, of course, by a student from the smart state, Queensland. 5,600 very clever kids from Australia and New Zealand went into the Australian neuroscience brain bee. These are the top performers from every Australian state and territory plus New Zealand, the best of the best. I don't really like to say that I'm just naturally smart. I like to say I, I work hard. They've all been grilled for the last three days. These are the last rounds of questions. Mm, it's been pretty intense. I'm really nervous, you know, just oh, heart pounding, cold hands. Today they're being asked questions most people wouldn't understand based on a book designed for trainee doctors and they're only in year 10 or 11. And I've taught medical students anatomy for many years. Um, these students would mostly kill those first or second year medical or science students. All of them already loved maths and science, anatomy and biology. They're all interesting in different ways. Some were drawn in by the science of the brain. Like, I didn't know how the brain worked before then. I remember reading the first page. It's like, oh my gosh, that's what neurons are like. And I found it really interesting. Kids who do well in so many areas can have trouble choosing a field to specialise in. Something I'm interested in, I guess, I could open up a sandwich bar. Teresa Tang from Brisbane won today's final round. She and her competitors could one day start up a band. Between them, they play the piano, guitar, the trumpet and the clarinet. But that might have to wait until after the international championships in Cape Town in July. Karen Berkman, ABC News, Gold Coast.